So hey guys, Sai is here and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to root any Android phone without unlocking bootloader, without installing any custom recovery, without patching boot IMG with Magisk. So this video is very useful if you are those guys who don't want to unlock your bootloader or if your uh, manufacturer don't allow to unlock your bootloader. So this is very important video. Watch this video till the end without skip any part of this video. And if you're new on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. Also join our telegram channel where I provide important files and updates. So without any wasting of time, let's begin. So before move on the process, the method which I'm showing in this video, this is a virtual machine method. So in this method, you can get 60 to 70 percent root power. But note that you can't get 100 percent of root power. So if you want 100 percent root power, then you need to unlock your bootloader. After that, you need to install Magisk. So if you don't know how to do it, that video is also present on my Hindi channel. You can uh, watch that videos on my Hindi channel. OK, so let's move on the process. First of all, open your Play Store and search virtual master and simply install this application on your device, which device you want to root. So this uh, application is uh, near about 530 MB. After opening this application, the pop up is here. As we can see, connect your device with Wi-Fi and here it is. The activation is required. So we need to click on activate button. So I'm going to click on this activate button. Then here it is the steps of this uh, activating methods. So we need to follow these steps. So first of all, we need to connect our device with Wi-Fi. This is step one. Then step two, enable uh developer option so let's go we are going to enable developer option so every device have different uh, may, uh, i mean different place for activating after activating that developer option so you need to uh tab build on build number six to seven times so go on open your settings then go on about section then find build number if you are a xiaomi or poco user then you need to find miui version and tab on six to seven times on miui version if you are another android user then you can tab on build number six to seven times so here it is build number is present so i'm going to tap six to seven times after uh, tabbing six to seven times the developer option is uh comes on system if you are a poco or xiaomi user then that developer option comes in additional settings uh, i guess in realme users also get on that additional settings option okay so find that developer option that developer option is present on system in my case so i am going to find that developer option so this is system scroll down so here it is that developer option is present so simply open that developer option so if you don't know how to enable developer option simply google it how to enable developer option for your device name search it so you, you will find your process so here it is the scroll down and enable usb debugging then enable wireless debugging so we need to enable this th two toggles so i enabled it after that click on this wireless debugging option so then here it is if you are previously connected with your wireless debugging then forget it for example i already connected with uh, shizuku so if you don't know what is shizuku how to set up i already made one video check it out that is also very useful application so i'm going to forget this shizuku because if i connect this new virtual machine then i need to forget other devices now i forget it then click on pair device with pair code so here it is the pair code we need to add this pair code on our notification okay let's um, actually we need we forget one step that is we need to enable notification of this uh, virtual machine so first of all click on this just a second we need to enable activation tips so we need to enable notification permission for vm so i forget it so let's do it so first of all we need to activate or allow notification permission just click on it so enable if you don't give notification permission then it will not work because where you uh, uh, enter that code so after enabling notification for vms then here it is the notification is present for vm so again go on this wireless debugging okay again 
so if any other uh, pairing is connected then forget it and click on pair device with pairing code and enter this pairing code on notification which whose notification vm notification here it is the vm notification is come then simply i enter that code so here it is i am entering that code and click on this arrow okay i think i entered wrong pin sorry uh, if you entered a wrong pin then you need to uh, repeat this process so simply cancel it okay and again click on pair device with pairing code and you can get a new code so simply enter this new code on that notification of vm so here it is i am entering that proper code on here after that i am going to click on this arrow button so it will uh, give a notification like pairing successful so click on activate now button so pairing is successful now next step is we need to click on activate button so i am going to click activate now so here it is um, now click on this tab to activate option so i am going to click i think it will going to failed because we need to repeat one step if it going to failed so as we can see the activation is failed so we need to repeat that step again so go on developer option again and just in a disable wireless debugging and again enable wireless debugging then it will working then it will work fine so here it is i am going to disable this wireless debugging okay and re enable wireless debugging again so do this step if it going to fail okay and uh, you can again entered a code if it not working so not necessary entering again code just uh, disable the wireless debugging and click on enable then it will find as we can see activation is successful okay so activation is successful now going on next step okay now move on the next step now talking about the next step so here it is the option is present create vm so just we need to click on this plus button at top of the right side then click on create vm just tab it and here it is by default android nougat is present in um, i mean it it is a rom which is by default is present if you want to move uh, if you want to install android 9 virtual machine then you can good to go android 11 is presently unavailable then but in future it will be coming okay so i am going to install this by default virtual machine rom which is android no got because not no, i am not going to download this uh, android pi because by default is available then why i am going to android pi so if you want to go on that then you can good to go but i think some important points is necessary if you go on that android pi i will explain later but i am going to tap this android 7 then click on next button that's it again click on next button don't change anything and again click on con complete okay so don't worry just click on complete so here it is now tap on start vm and it will take some time to boot a rom on i mean a virtual machine creating a rom on your device so it will take some time okay now it taking 10 to 30 seconds it's saying 10 to 30 seconds for booting so as we can see here it is our virtual machine is booted on nogat so as we can see there is a different machine is here i mean different rom is present like it looks like android nogat it's old version looks like old version okay so now talking about next step so here it is the different type option is present we are need to go on this vm settings so simply go on this vm settings and enable this google services just simply enable this toggle of google services note that when you are going to enable any toggle then you are uh, virtual i mean your rom going to boot i mean it take reboot it take, it ask you reboot so after rebooting as we can see play store option is present so if you want to enable some hardware things i mean hardware sensor then you can again enable that options from vm settings and if you go on home i mean you want to come out from this virtual machine then you can uh, click on this button dot button and you can come out how to come out i will tell you but before uh, talking about that things first of all we need to set up this 
virtual machine so as we can see our play store is here that means our google play services is enabled as we can see toggle is enabled and if you want to enable sensors on this virtual machine then you can enable this gyroscope accelerometer camera so this is the options is present if you enable this toggle then new again it will going to ask you boot so you click on that restart then your virtual machine again going to reboot okay so note these points now so now move on the next step so we need to click on this plus button add apps if you want to add root access simply click on this button okay then you can import those apps who want to install on your virtual machine so first of all i want to install because i want root access now so i want to install first root but before move on the process just hide those apps who don't support on our virtual machine okay so do this process after that uh one important point we need to note that we need to come out from there because we need to install those application in our main rom in our main phone which we want to import from main phone to on our virtual machine so here it is i installed magisk root but <laughs> it is not rooted okay my device is not rooted just i install this two apks one is root checker and other one is uh, magisk root if you don't know how to uh, download magisk root then simply google it so i will tell you how to download magisk root also then simply go on um, google and simply search magisk root okay and download that magisk root application okay so before move on the downloading process first of all i show you as we can see i am using android 13 so this method is working android 13 12 or upcoming android 14 also it's going to work okay because this is an official method of installing virtual machine so now talking about how to download magisk because we need to import this magisk and root checker application from our main rom to our virtual machine right so simply search magisk github from on google and go on this first github page and here it is the github page is present and simply scroll down and uh, click on latest version and download this latest version of magisk so you can get magisk from here simply click on assist option then it will open your assist uh, files then click on apk which is uh, latestly available oh, okay i already download magisk application i'm not going to download again so simply go back go back okay uh, installed download application on your main rom i already installed download application on main roms you need two applications one is root checker and other one is magisk okay after successfully installed now move on the virtual machine because we need to root our virtual machine right so open your virtual machine and simply import magisk and uh, root checker application so i am going to click on this import okay import option so let's find the magisk here it is that magisk apk is present on our main os simply click import then click on confirm option after clicking confirm option it will again going to boot okay it will take minimum five seconds and after boot successful you can see your uh, you on your virtual machine magisk is installed successfully as we can see okay now we need to again import one more application but before move on that application you need to open vm settings and enable this magisk okay i already enabled this magisk if not enabled then manually enable it but by default it going to enable it after installing magisk right okay so after opening magisk it will take some time to open okay so wait for it uh, as we can see here it is our phone is rooted if you know if you know about if magisk then you can see here it is installed version is present and it will ask, ask also update for apk manager but avoid it z in click on zygis click on this info deny list and click on this deny list click on three dots and click show system apps and simply search google just i'm going to search google and okay it will come out so don't worry again if open it okay now go on this again go on this config deny list option click on three dots uh, check this box show system apps and search google and we need to enable two boxes one is google play services enable this all toggles on that boxes and play store 
enable this all toggles on play store box okay now this is a final step as we can see this two boxes those two things are enabled now move back go back and uh, click on reboot option just wait for a second i'm going to back and here it is at top of the right uh, side we can see here it is that reboot option is present just click on reboot option and it showing power off but actually it is not going to power off so simply avoid this just click on this uh, vm dot here it is the vm toggle vm dot is present here it is that dot is present just click on this vm dot and click on to phone okay just click on to phone so if you want to come out from this virtual machine so whenever you want to come out this virtual machine just click on that dot and click on to phone okay so i'm come outed from virtual machine clear all the things which present in recent again open virtual machine and click on start vm and now you see the magic just wait so here it is my virtual machine is booted as we can see now again open magisk and see as we can see here it is zygisk is yes ram disk yes and our phone is rooted successfully and zygisk is also enabled okay now just go back and now we are going to import root checker application and let we check our device is rooted or not but if you if you know magisk <laughs> if you are experimented with magisk if you rooted with magisk previously then definitely you know your device is rooted when we open magisk then it will show magisk version of installed okay so import this root checker application okay i'm going to import it what is the status of importing you can see from here here it is that circle type option is present so if you click on that option you can uh, check what happened how much percent is installing okay now going to open this root checker application so let we test it our phone is rooted or not okay now click on verify root and magis gives a prompt super give is grant permission and after that congratulation damn our phone is rooted na so here it is the process as we can see very very easy very very interesting but uh, some of the apps is working fine i mean in this method you, you if you are you going for this method not you are i mean you can't get 100% of power of root because this is on virtual machine then you can get 60 to 70% of power okay and uh, another point is you can't install any modules because no modules is support on this virtual machine so avoid that and uh, all application is working i am not saying all application is working most of the rooted applications working fine okay so this is the process if you like this video then please like and share this video see you in the next video love you guys goodbye take care